This biomedical signal processing video is presented by Sunita SL, Kavita G from UBTTC Dhanagere. This video consists of different types of artifacts which are involved in biomedical signals. We know that the biomedical signals are very weak, the strength of the signal is very less, its amplitude is very less in terms of microvolt and even the frequency is also very less, it is in terms of hertz. Any signal other than of interest is called the interference art artifact or the noise. The main sources of noises in biomedical signals are physiological noise, instrumentation noise or it may be environmental noise. Random noise, structured noise or the physiological interference are the main three different types of noises which are involved in the biomedical signals. Before studying about the random noise, now we see what is deterministic signal. The deterministic signal is a signal which is having a definite structure, definite shape and even the definite size. So it can be easily represented by using the mathematical function of time. Naturally, if it is possible to represent by using the mathematical function means it can be easily predicted by using the past values of the signals. The signal which is not possible to represent by using the mathematical function is called the non-deterministic signal or the random signal. So for representing the random signal, we will go for the probability density function or the probability probabilities of occurrence of all possible values of the random variables. This type of noise, that is the random noise, occurs mainly due to the thermal effect of electronic devices. The other important noise in biomedical signal is the structured noise. Usually this is mainly due to the power line interference of electrical lines. The bandwidth of this type of signal is 50 Hz or the 60 Hz. It, the interference of this type of signal is known in advance, but the phase of this type of interference is not known in advance. It cannot be predicted. Because of the bandwidth, because of the fixed bandwidth, it is possible to remove this type of noise by using the band pass filter or the notch filter. The other important type of noise, which is, this is actually the unword, un, um, this is not uh, unavoidable type of noise is the physiological interference. We know that the human body is highly complex in nature, it consists of several subsystems and we also know that while extracting the information, one, information from one subsystem, it is not possible to stop the functioning of the other subsystem. The appearance of the signals from sub, one subsystem are the process of signal of interest is called the physiological interference. These are the different types of physiological interference which occurs in, which occurs with the biomedical signals. This physiological interference, spectral content is not known in advance and it cannot be predicted and even the shape of the physiological interference also cannot be predicted. Usually this is the dynamic type, it means continuously varying, so it is non-stationary signal. So it is not possible to remove this type of noise by using the standard band force filters or any other standard filters. So we will go for the adaptive filters with reference inputs for removing the physiological interference types of noise. Hence the biomedical signals cannot be used directly without pre-processing and there is no single type of pre-processing method for removing all types of so all three different types of noises. The pre-processing methods usually depends on the type of noise whether it is a structured noise, thermal noise or the physiological interference and it also depending on the depends on the type of signal and the strength of signal.